Hi, I'm Dick Olmstead. I'm the curator of the herbarium at the Burke Museum. And we're here in the UW Greenhouse in one of the tropical rooms where, as you can see by the plants around me, uh, this is a place where tropical plants from all of the wet forests of the tropical regions of the world are grown. Darwin used the metaphor of the tree of life to describe how all living things are related to one another. In flowering plants, where there's over 300,000 species, if we want to understand the processes that went into the evolution of all of those species, the diversification of all of that life from a single common ancestor, we can do it by studying them one branch at a time. The large branch that I've been working on is sometimes called the Lamiales and includes about 20 families and perhaps 22,000 species. One branch within that large branch is the family Verbenaceae or the Verbena family. It has about 900 species and is found predominantly in the New World. From origins in wet tropical forests, the family Verbenaceae evolved into all of the other habitats that we find represented in North and South America today, including arid habitats in the desert environments of Southern South America and North America. Darwin used the term descent with modification to describe how plants change over time. That change occurs as new species arise and are adapted to the environments in which they live through the process of natural selection. By reconstructing the pattern of those evolutionary relationships, we can then work backwards from the tips where we know the plants that live today and the environments that they live in to reconstruct the pattern and the processes that gave rise to the diversity we find today. As they've evolved to occupy the cloud forests high in the Andes from tropical ancestors, the leaves have become much smaller and tougher and able to withstand the sudden fluctuations environment that they experience in those high Andean mountain environments. Plants are adapted to their environment. They are at home in that environment and usually will not do as well in other environments. So we may think of deserts as being these extreme environments with uh, harsh habitats where plants must struggle to survive. But in fact, those plants are as home, at home in those desert environments as the Douglas fir trees in our forests here in the Pacific Northwest. And in fact, they would suffer if they were transplanted into a forest environment. So many adaptations such as the spines that prevent being chewed on by big animals or uh, the leaves that fall off when drought occurs and then come back whenever there's a little bit of rain are all things that are the mechanisms by which those plants make themselves at home in these difficult environments.